$1,000 or less has most positively impacted your life in the last six months or in recent memory? Paul Stamets, host defense My Community Mushroom Complex, is the most incredible immunity supplement I have ever taken, and I have taken a lot of them. No matter how much I travel, how many hands I shake, or how exhausted I am, I don't get sick as long as I take the supplement diligently. How has a failure, or apparent failure, set you up for later success? Do you have a favorite failure of yours? I have had so many spectacular failures, but looking back, I can see how each of them led me a little closer to doing what I actually wanted to do. Years before I was ready to write a book of my own, I bungled two opportunities to co-write cookbooks with other people. These mistakes haunted me, and I was sure I'd never get to write another book. But I waited, and I persisted, and after 17 years, I wrote the book I'd always dreamt of. In 2002, I was a finalist for a Fulbright grant, but didn't receive it and felt like I'd never get to study traditional food making methods in Italy. Instead, I found my way back to Italy and cooked and worked there for a year and a half. And now, 15 years later, I'm working on a documentary that will take me there to study traditional food making methods. I worked at and eventually ran a restaurant that was failing financially for its entire five year existence. It was grueling especially because I cared about it as if it were my own. I knew chances of our success were slim about three years in, and I was ready to leave then. But the owner, who was also my mentor, just wasn't ready to give up. So we dragged things out for two long years beyond that, and it was really challenging. Unbearable at times, even. By the time things were done, I was exhausted and depressed and just really, really unhappy. We all were but it didn't have to be that way. That experience taught me to take agency in my own professional narratives and that endings don't have to be failures, especially when you choose to end a project or shut down a business. Shortly after the restaurant closed, I started a food market as a small side project and it ended up being wildly successful. I had more press and customers than I could handle. I had investors clamoring to get in on the action, but all I wanted to do was write. I didn't want to run a food market, and since my name was all over it, I didn't want to hand it off to anyone else either. So I chose to close the market on my own terms, and I made sure that everyone knew it. It was such a positive contrast to the harsh experience of closing the restaurant. I've learned to envision the ideal end to any project before I begin it now. Even the best gigs don't last forever, nor should they. On a much, much smaller scale, while cooking, I have ruined more dishes than I can recall. But the wonderful thing about cooking is that it's a pretty quick process, really, and it doesn't allow for much time to get attached to the results. So whether a dish stinks or turns out beautifully, you have to start over from scratch again the next day. You don't get a chance to sit around and wallow or toot your own horn. The important thing is to learn from each failure and try not to repeat it.